Okay, well, I um, had my sound muted, so let me start this tutorial over. Okay, this is a tutorial on how to create a color overlay on something and mask it off using the FX filters at the bottom of your layers palette. I'm going to show you two ways to do this. The first way is extremely simple. The second way is a handy way to know how to do it manually. That way you have more control over things um, uh, in, in different circumstances. So the first way to do it is very simple. You have your item that you want uh, cut out. It could be a car, an umbrella, a clock, anything you have. It should be cut out and on uh, a transparent layer. So um, what I have here is a clock. So what I'm going to do is, um, and excuse my voice please, I, I had a sinus infection for a while and my voice sounds just horrible, but um, I had a few people ask me about this, so they needed it quickly, so I figured I would make it, regardless of how I sound. So what you want to do is you want to have the layer on, um, the, uh, the, the subject on a transparent layer. You want to click on the FX filter at the bottom of your layers palette and choose color overlay. I'm just going to go with the yellow so it's different and you can see the difference. Um, click OK. Now you will have, you'll see a yellow overlay on top of your item. What you want to do is then right click on the effects layers down there and choose create layer that will create a masked layer on your above your your subject then you want to create a mask on no I'm sorry that's the wrong layer then you want to while you're on the color overlay layer create a mask with your black paintbrush chosen you can paint everything off you can also change the modes okay so that's how you do the first one okay another way and this is a little bit longer but um, it is another way to do this that will like I said give you a little bit more control over things what I norm what I do is I go to the um, the black and white symbol down here which is your new adjustment layer um, and click on that and choose solid color okay and choose whatever color you want I'll just choose a, a nice green color and now you've created a mask a mask color overlay but you still don't have it on just the clock so what I do is I command or control click on the clock or on the layer that has the object that you want to color so that it selects just that object go back to your color overlay layer click on the color icon or thumbnail and invert that by doing control shift I or command shift I then go over to the um, mask window and do a control backspace or alt backspace and that will mask off the outer part of the object and now you see you've got your your um, subject is uh, now only on the on the clock so now you can change the mode to this to anything you want and you can mask more off if you want to um, let me go to uh, let me go to normal and you know with, without it being selected right now, the reason it's not painting is because my marquee is still selected. So I will deselect that, and that way I will be able to mask. So that's how you do it the slightly long way, but you will have more control over things. Um, that's how you do that. I hope this is helpful, and I hope my voice turned out this time because last time I had it muted. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Good luck.